ever wondered how breeding values are created? This video explains what TOP actually is and what goes into the TOP inspection process. TOP, traits other than production, measures the behavior, temperament and physical attributes of dairy cattle. Farmers score animals for traits relating to their management at milking time, and qualified inspectors score traits relating to the physical conformation of the animals. Live weights are also collected for the animals. This data forms a picture of the sire's breeding value. TOP scores are considered extremely important in relation to the overall profitability of dairy cattle. CRV's progeny test program evaluates the performance and traits of daughters of bulls we have carefully selected to be potential new sires in our CRV portfolio. When these daughters calve and come into milk as rising two-year-olds, each trait measured goes towards the sire's breeding values. This includes herd test production data and the TOP trait scores. This information helps form our decision whether to graduate the sire to our catalogue. R2s are inspected from all herds which are part of the progeny testing programs. This involves scheduling approximately 400 farms around the country over three months, resulting in some tight days when inspectors can be visiting multiple farms. To ensure the inspection goes smoothly, double check the inspector has the correct details for your herd prior to the visit. Shed address, dairy supply number, name and contact details for the manager on the day. We've followed inspectors Barry Montgomery and Grant Lilly to demonstrate how cows are scored on a TOP inspection day. As part of the progeny test program, we ask that farmers have all R2s listed on the farmer sheets they receive beforehand, drafted out before the inspector arrives. There is also a requirement to have a person available to assist with cow movement during the inspection process. Inspections take about two minutes per animal, so an inspection of 50 animals will take just over one and a half hours. Give your farmer sheets with the four adaptability to milking farmer scored traits filled in to the inspector. So we had the 8.30 inspection this morning, so um, I came across from the other farm last night and um, helped Andrew draft the cows during milking. So we drafted them into a paddock, gave them a little break on the road. Uh, Andrew milked them first this morning and then put them back out into the paddock and then um, at 8.30 we brought them up to the shed and had them ready for the, for the guys to come and have a look at. Like most farmers, we have a, you, you've got your yellow book in your pocket at carving time. It's those extreme animals that what CRV are looking for. And so we just make a note of heifers that are particularly temperamental. We don't um, judge them on their first milking so much. First carving heifers, they're going to be yeah. a bit itchy. So it's when they're still kicking after the second, the third and fourth milkings, we'll just make a note of the adaptability to milkings. We'll make a note of heifers that are in the first few rows and then also the heifers that are having to be pushed into the shed morning and night every day. The milking speed, probably the hardest one to keep an eye on because your heifers aren't quite giving quite as much milk as your cows. So we just make a note of any slow ones and we haven't actually had a slow milking progeny test heifer. And then overall opinion, yeah, it's just if the heifer's good to look at, she's in the shed in the first half of milking and she's, she doesn't lift a foot. Yeah, she's, tick, she's ticking our boxes. Yeah, she's good to go. Right. The whole process, we have the, the inspection day, you get an, get an expert to come and have a look at your heifers and say what's good, bad and indifferent about them. We find, we used to nominate five or six Frisian bulls for the herd. And then when the downturn came three or four years ago, it's a case of, hey, let's save some money and we'll try progeny test. And what we found, very little variation. Yeah, very happy. It's cheap semen, you're herd tested anyway, gaining more than you're losing. TOP inspectors evaluate every daughter from the progeny test program within the first five months of their initial lactation. Scores are entered directly into a handheld device against the cow tag ID. One, 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 see how she's got a double peak, fuse peak on the front right hand. She'll actually lose a point in her udder because of that, because it's just prone to a mastitis and infection. Here, 53, I've scored her an 8 for 4 udder attachment. As you can see how it's nice and long and it welds right into <clears throat> the stomach wall. The next one to a 216, you can actually see how it cuts up and is much shorter and not as well attached into the, four, into the uh, chest wall. So this one here is an 8, that one there is a 5 maybe a four when I see how much movement there is when I walk. 
another heifer that's got great capacity. See her openness of her chest, the angularity of her ribs. She's a little bit more straighter on the leg, but higher on the pin, but overall uh, capacity is fantastic. So we've gone eight for stature on this crossbred heifer, which makes her about 130, over 135 centimetres at the point of the shoulder, tall. Mm -hmm. Good working condition. I've noticed in the front end, a great, mm -hmm. great width through the front end on the heart. So the full weight, eight capacity. Move to the back end here. Once again, an optimum rank angle. She's through, a through five, level run. Great width from the pins. I'm going to go eight on pin width. A good set of legs. Just a little bit of set, make her a six. We move to the udder, fairly well supported udder. Feet are holding in well. The height above the hock is, in, is pretty good as well. So I'm going to go seven for udder support. There's definition in the ligament. Height on the udder, but it will go six on front udder. Rear udder height, above halfway. We'll go seven rear udder. Okay, I've only got half milk. I think she full right up. She'd, she'd come right up. Front teeth a little bit out, but they're inside, so they're, they're going to be four for... Teats, front teeth, rear teeth are six, just inside from centre a wee bit, and three for length, three centimetres long. I'm going to go seven for dairy for other, and she's an eight for dairy confirmation. Condition score, four and a half plus. I think we'll go closer to five than four and a half. So she's, she's, that's where she scores. Very good dairy cow. Easy, piece of cake. How hard was that? Around the time of TOP inspection, the R2s are also weighed. A separate contracted party will contact the farmer to set a time for live weighing, apart from the TOP inspection time. They bring scales to the yards and we ask that a farm staff member is also available to help with this process. Raw data from TOP inspections is analysed for within herd, region and national comparisons. The Dairy Industry Good Animal Database, DIGAD, then calculates breeding values for all these tested sires. These TOP inspections are very important for sire selection and each trait is reported in our catalogue. Farmers use trait scores to make informed mating decisions and select the right bulls for their herd. We'd like to thank all progeny test farmers for your contribution towards CRV's future genetics.